where it's all about having a great time in the kitchen. Nothing reminds me more of my mom than Christmas. And nothing reminds me more of my mom at Christmas than Christmas cookies. Woo, she could put out some Christmas cookies as far as I could see. All kind of different types and makes and flavors. And oh, every one of them was delicious. The one in particular I love so much, and I never really see it out there. You probably have never even had it. You've got to try these. I'm going to show you how to make, make my mom's gumdrop cookies. That's right, gumdrop cookies. Are you ready to bake? Then let's go. We're going to start by creaming one cup of shortening. I'm using this prepackaged uh, butter flavored Crisco shortening. And one cup of white sugar and one cup of brown sugar. Now let's cream that together. Now to two cups of flour, we're gonna add one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Just kind of mix that together. And add it to your cream mixture. Now let's combine the flour and the cream sugar mixture. Now we're gonna add in two eggs and a teaspoon of vanilla extract and mix to combine. Now let's mix in two cups of oatmeal, a cup of coconut, My mom's secret ingredient, gumdrops. She usually used all the flavors, cherry and orange and grape and yellow. For Christmas, I went with the cherry and the lime to give it the old red and green look. Uh, and then I'll save a few to put on top of the cookies when we go to bake them so that you can see the gumdrops pretty well. So anyways, we got a cup of chopped gumdrops. They're about that size, just little squares, little cubes. Dump those in and mix that together. Okay, now that your dough is all mixed up, you're gonna to wanna to get a scoop of it and make it into about the size of a golf ball and get it onto your baking sheet. And my mom always used a little cup or dish of milk, dipped her fork in it, and then pressed the cookie down with that milk covered fork. I think it was to add a little bit more moisture to the dough because the dough does seem a little dry and make them just perfectly chewy yet crispy. So let's do it with the rest of the dough and we'll get them in the oven. And that's what they look like glistening with that bill 350 degree oven for 12 to 15 minutes. Keep an eye on them. When they get brown around the edges, they are ready to come out. Look what just came out of the oven, some gumdrop cookies, and they smell delicious. Let's give one a try. Mm. Mm. Crispy, chewy. Got a chunk of that gumdrop. Wow, nothing reminds me more of Christmas. And my mom than these gumdrop cookies are so delicious. You've got to try to make them. Here's the good food, good mood, good family, and good friends.